The U.S. dollar continues with its struggles this week, with the dollar index sinking to a three-week low in the final day of trade for February. Portfolio rebalancings have been discovered to be more aggressively dollar bearish than many had anticipated. The euro managed to push back above 114 against the buck, with some citing the slightly firmer German inflation readings as a helper to the single currency's run-up. Meanwhile, there has been a clear deterioration in risk sentiment since U.S. equities recovered to their highest levels of the year early in the week. Things have been looking less rosy on the U.S.-China trade front after the U.S. trade representative said a lot still needed to get done for a deal to be had. The pound has been doing a good job consolidating the recent gains as the market prices out the prospect for what would have been a very scary no-deal Brexit at the end of March. The market will now digest the latest GDP numbers out of the U.S. while also taking in a batch of Fed speak and other second-tier releases. We think it will be worth keeping an eye on dollar-yen over the coming sessions. The major pair is in a bigger-picture technical downtrend if we're to look back to late 2014 to present. It's been stubbornly holding up after a substantial rally out from the yearly January low that flash crash low that was seen in the first couple of days of the year. But with equities at risk for another another downturn and the U.S. dollar starting to come under some pressure, the expectation for another big drop in favor of downtrend is very reasonable. At the same time, if the run gets back above the 112 handle, it will delay this bearish expectation for dollar-yen.